In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to run TikTok ads for your Shopify store. First, we're going to connect your Shopify store with TikTok. Then we're gonna set up your TikTok ads campaign. And finally, we're gonna look at how to scale your campaign. So let's get started. So to set up the TikTok ads for our Shopify store, we first need to add TikTok as a new sales channel on Shopify. So in your Shopify dashboard, go to add apps and then click on Shopify app store, search for TikTok and then install the TikTok app. Click add app and then click add sales channel. Set up now and we need to create a new TikTok business account. So let's click on create new and here enter your email and create a password and then send the verification code to your email and paste it in here and click sign up. Now we're gonna connect the new TikTok business account to Shopify. So let's click on connect and then we're gonna create our TikTok ads manager. So let's click on create new under country, you want to choose the country you want to advertise in. So if you want to sell to customers in the United States, then choose United States here. Then choose your currency and enter your store name and phone number. And then click sign up and connect. Now for data share, we're going to choose maximum. This is going to allow TikTok to get as much data as possible from our Shopify store, which is going to help the TikTok algorithm to find the right customers. Then click confirm. Now we also have to set up our company info. So fill in your information here and then click confirm. Then click finish setup. So now TikTok is connected with Shopify and also the tracking pixel was automatically installed, meaning that whenever we get a sale from TikTok, we'll be able to see exactly where that sale came from and we can optimize based on that data. So to set up our TikTok ads, we're gonna go to ads.tiktok.com and then click on create now at the top. This will automatically log you into the TikTok ads manager that we've just created before. So before we start setting up our campaign, I wanna quickly show you how a paid ads campaign is structured because that's really important for you to understand. So a campaign has three levels. The first level is the campaign itself. The second level are the ad groups and then the third level are the actual ads. On the campaign level, we basically tell TikTok what the main goal of our campaign is. In our case, this would be sales on our store. On the ad group level, we can define who we want to show our ads to, and we can have multiple ad groups in the same campaign so we can test different types of audiences. And then on the ad level, we create the actual ad, which is what TikTok users will see when our ad pops up in their feed. And also here we can have multiple ads in one ad group to test which ads result in the most sales. Great, so now that you understand the campaign structure, let's start setting it up. Now we wanna make sure to have the full control over our ads, so we're gonna click on custom mode here. Then we have to set our advertising objective, which is obviously getting sales on our store, so we're gonna choose website conversions here. And then we can name our first campaign. Now with this first campaign, we're gonna target people who have never seen our brand before. And in marketing, this is called cold traffic, which is why we're gonna name this campaign cold and then add the campaign objective, which is conversions. Then we have to decide how we wanna manage our budget within our campaign. So if we turn on campaign budget optimization, also called CBO, then we can define our budget for the entire campaign and TikTok will decide for us how much money each ad group within our campaign will receive based on what TikTok thinks will get us the most sales. Now, if we turn CBO off, then we're gonna set the budget at the ad group level, which is called ABO. And this means it's up to us to read the data and then manually increase or decrease the budget for each ad group. For testing, I recommend to leave CBO turned off because this is gonna enable us to have more control over where we spend our money. Then let's click on continue. And now we're gonna create our first ad group within our new campaign. We're gonna name our ad groups based on the audience that we're targeting. So if we are targeting people who are interested in travel, then we would simply name this ad group travel. 
But for this ad group, I want to test a broad audience without adding any interests. This currently works quite well on TikTok. So because I'm not adding any interests in this ad group, I'm going to name it broad. Then here we're going to select our pixel. This is really important because that's how TikTok receives data from our Shopify store. For the optimization event, we're going to choose complete payment. Then on replacements, we're going to click on select placement and then make sure that only TikTok is selected. If we don't do this, then our ads might also show up on other apps, which at this stage we don't want. Now let's click on advanced settings and then turn off the video download feature so it's not as easy for people to just steal our ads. Then we have the automated creative optimization feature, which if we turn this on, it will basically split test different parts of our ad and then optimize based on what's working best. However, at this stage, I'm going to leave this turned off because I want to test everything manually myself so I can actively learn what works best for my product. So let's move on to the targeting. Here we can basically set filters for who we want to show our ads to. We're going to leave the targeting mode at custom targeting. And then for demographics, we're going to put in the countries we want to sell to. So let's say we want to target the United States and Canada. We can then just select those here. For language, I'm going to select English. And then for gender, this really depends on your product. So for example, if you're selling something that is clearly a product for women, then it definitely makes sense to just select female here. For some products though, it might make sense testing a male audience as well as they might buy it as a present for somebody else. I'm going to leave this at all as my product isn't specific to gender. Then for age, I recommend to deselect the 13 to 17 age group because children in that age, they don't even have a credit card. So it doesn't make sense to show them our ads. And then let's go to interests and behaviors. Here we can really narrow down the targeting to the audience that would be most interested in buying our product. Now, like I said before, in this ad group, we're testing a broad audience. So we don't want to narrow down our audience by targeting a specific interest. What works quite well on TikTok is to not target any interest and then just show our ads to as many people as possible. And then the TikTok algorithm is quite good at learning how the target customer actually looks like. And then it will optimize based on that information. That's the idea behind targeting a broad audience. However, later on, we're also going to create separate ad groups for testing specific interests as well. Now let's move on to the budget. As we've decided to define our budget at the ad group level, now we're going to have to tell TikTok how much money we want to spend on this ad group. In general, the more money we spend per day, the more people will see our ads. As a beginner, I recommend to start with the minimum, which is $20 per day. Then under day parting, we could select a specific time of day when our ads should be shown. This is something that we could set up later once we have some data and know what times people usually buy our product. But for now, I'm going to leave this at all day. Then for bidding and optimization, we're going to leave the optimization goal at conversion and then the bid strategy at lowest cost and then click next. Now we're at the ad level of our campaign where we can actually create the ad. So I'm going to name this ad ad one and then under identity, we're going to add our brand name and also upload a logo of our brand. Then I'm going to move on to the ad details. This is where we can upload the video, which will be shown as the actual ad in advertising. This is called the creative. So how do we actually get the creative made? Well, you can either order the product and then create everything yourself, or you can simply pay an ad agency to create some ads for you. I actually prefer this option when it comes to testing new products because it does take a lot less time on my part and I have more time to spend finding new products and testing them to find a potential winner. The ad agency that I use is called Bands of Ads and I'm going to leave a link to them down below in the video description. So once you create your account with them, you want to go to TikTok and then I recommend to get this package right here, the TikTok ad package, which will give you three variations of a 15 to 30 second long TikTok ad for your specific product. Now, what these guys are going to do is find clips of your product online and then cut together a video ad that is optimized for TikTok. So let's go back to the TikTok ad platform where we can now upload our creative by clicking upload and then dropping our video files here. 
In the text field, I recommend to put in your offer. So for example, if we have a 50% discount offer, then we can simply put something like holiday sale 50% off. Then we want to send people directly to the product page. So I'm going to put the URL of the product page here. Then for the call to action button, we're going to click here, then click on edit, change this to standard and then choose shop now. This is what makes the most sense for selling a physical product. Then for tracking, we've already set up our TikTok pixel, so everything's fine here. And we can go ahead and click on submit. When that's done, our ad is going to be reviewed by TikTok and once it's approved, it'll automatically start running. So now we are inside of the TikTok ads manager where we can manage all of our campaigns. So now under campaigns, we can see the campaign we have just set up. When we click on it, it will take us one level deeper to the ad groups. So here we can see our ad group. And then when we click on the ad group, it will take us to the ads which are inside of that ad group. Now to start out, I recommend to set up two more ads in the ad group that we've already created. If you've used bands of ads to get your creatives, you should have two more variations you can test. So to set up the other two ads, we can just go to the ad we've already set up and then just click on copy, increase the number of copies to two and then confirm. And now all we have to do is edit each of these copies to change the name and of course upload the other creatives. So now we have one campaign with one ad group targeting a broad audience and in that ad group we are testing three different creatives. If you can afford to spend more than $20 a day, you can create a few more ad groups to test different interests as well. So what we can do is just go into our campaign and then we're going to copy our ad group two times. And then for each of the copies, we're going to click on edit, then scroll down to the targeting. And here choose the interest that is closely related to what your target customers would be interested in. Once you've chosen your interest, make sure to name your ad group the same way as the interest that you're targeting. This will make it much easier to keep a good overview in your campaign. So this is our campaign structure for launching our product. We have one campaign with three ad groups, one broad and two targeting interests. And in each ad group, we have three different creatives. This is the setup that I recommend to test new products. Now, once you find a product that you're profitable with using this setup, you can slowly start scaling your campaign. Scaling simply means spending more money on the ads that actually work and give you the best results. There are two main ways on how to scale your campaign, horizontal scaling and vertical scaling. Vertical scaling simply means we're just going to increase the budget of the ad groups that give us the best results so far. So let's say this ad group is the most profitable one out of all of them. What we would simply do is increase the budget of that specific ad group. If then the ad group continues to be profitable, we're simply going to increase the budget again. Then there's horizontal scaling, where we can simply duplicate the best ad group a couple of times. So let's say this ad group performed the best. What we can do is copy it four times so that now we have four of the same ad group, each spending $20. Also, make sure to look at what creatives have performed the best out of all of them and only scale the ones that have proven to convert into sales. And to make sure this product remains profitable for you, you want to continue to test new creatives and scale the ones that work the best. So now that should give you a good idea about how to test and scale dropshipping products using TikTok ads.